Hi hello students welcome to let's understand physics we are discussing sound chapter class 8 cbse students q and a session now in the previous videos we have completed till 11 questions now in this video we see 12th question sketch the larynx and explain its function in your own words very very important question you have to draw the diagram so larynx means voice box now just draw the diagram the diagram will be like a butterfly shape okay now see here first draw slanting lines two at one side and with small gap at the bottom draw another two slanting lines like v shape okay after completing this one just at the top of the lines just draw curved lines to upwards direction and at the down line also you have to draw same way like this a curved line towards upward direction and like how while doing leaf design you will draw like that you have to do do it both the sides and join them like three how do you write like that you just join these two and then join these two like arch with two lines okay and then on the above these two you just need to draw like curved line two three curves you have to draw and join it okay this is the shape and then down if you see you have to join here again with the curved line from here to here you just see and join with a curved line like this here also you have to draw two lines understand so point and join the points with curves this second side also same you have to do after joining this you just need to start from down point here okay then you have to take one more point here just start again curved line only you have to draw but you have to join with two three curves okay understood everyone draw neatly okay just take here half you have to draw just two curves take and join here okay and then same here also take two curves and join here understood and now from down you have to take take like this u shape and same way how you have done in the previous line same thing but draw till top and take a small narrow u shape like this and join here like flower you have to get same to the other side you have to draw same you have to draw on the top you have to get u shape and join it okay so if you observe this this will be like a butterfly okay this is your larynx or voice box okay what is this voice box or larynx then label them in your textbook proper labeling is not given because many parts you don't require 
for writing the function of voice box but just to understand you just mark them so this topmost part we call it as epiglottis these functions you need not to remember just note the names okay and then this one is our voice box our larynx i am doing all the labeling all the parts at one side okay and then this part if you observe you will have small rounds here like this if you don't mention also no problem okay so this part we call it as arytenoid arytenoid cartilage okay all are biology terms and then this gap whatever you have we call it as glottis and down we call it as windpipe okay and then i am doing this labeling here this one whatever two lines you have drawn that is called cricoid cartilage cricoid cartilage okay and then the last one this last one is called thyroid cartilage thyroid cartilage okay all of them are your biology terms now you just need to remember for physics just you have to remember this voice box or larynx and then windpipe and vocal cords these two are called vocal cords okay they are very very important for us now for our function of voice box okay vocal cords understood everyone now just the same way you just draw a line here like this some curved line from top to down here you can shade it okay just shade it okay and here also you can shade that's all here also you just shade that's all is your larynx diagram okay understood everyone very easy like just one butterfly you have to draw now see here the function how do you write now this is windpipe isn't it so voice box is present in throat when you speak if you place your four fingers on throat you will feel the vibration at one finger exactly the second finger you will have the vibration that vibrating part only we call it as voice box or larynx why this part is moving 
we will see now now here this epiglot is all these cartilages you just see as muscles because you don't have in your textbook about all these functionalities these parts i am just giving as you have to learn them or understand them so that it will be easy and helpful for you in the further classes okay now see epiglottis is the superior part on the voice box now what does this do this epiglottis is useful because we'll have windpipe and footpipe isn't it it makes or prevents food should not go into the windpipe isn't it so it prevents the food from entering the larynx understood then voice box voice box is the main part for us which produces sound and then arytenoid cartilage what it does this is the part isn't it it makes the tension force and allows these vocal cords to vibrate understand and next glottis glottis is above the windpipe it is the responsible part for the sound production next windpipe through this windpipe only lungs will push the air to have vibration in the vocal cords okay now there are cricoid cartilage and thyroid cartilage this cricoid cartilage is for passage of the air it makes the opening there should not be any obstruction for this gap isn't it this is the part responsible for that and then thyroid cartilage this is the here it actually supports the voice box and what it does it has to safeguard the voice box okay now our main functionality how to write in the exam i will just tell you okay so there is voice box it is situated in the throat it is present above the windpipe and there are two vocal cords which are stretched across this voice box when the lungs forcibly push the air into the windpipe these two vocal cords will start vibration and then the sound is produced so this vibration is caused by these arytenoid cartilage you need not to write you just need to write the vocal cords will start vibrate and it produces sound so that we are able to speak understand so i hope everybody understood this functionality as i told only voice box windpipe lungs and vocal cords function you have to write in the exam rest of them just remember and understand so that you will understand the function properly without any confusion okay thank you for listening the video and if you are first time in the channel just subscribe then share the video to the students those who are studying class 8 cbsc comment if you have any doubts in the comment section don't forget to subscribe thank you